Hello everybody and welcome back to Birthdays the Beginning. And today we are going to make another river because I think my cube does not have enough rivers. So we're going to start just with a little branch and I think probably about here will be right because it curves in the kind of the right direction. Uh, let's make sure we have the right size cursor which is about that size. And I'm going to hold my back button down and... Off we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? But what I'm also going to do, which I think is kind of clever and cool, is I'm going to go from about this like little outcropping here. And I'm going to just make a little bit of a river coming around here. Don't have to be too precise with it or anything, just a random little river winding its way until eventually it gets to kind of here. And then I want one there, one there. And then we're going to sort of, um, I'm going to keep this river going in kind of this direction. We are gaining a bit of temperature unfortunately. We'll probably lose it though because it's going to be so much greener. And I've noticed you lose temperature when you get greenery, so we might end up being about the same anyway. So this one, I'm just going to let it merge in. I don't want to be too close to the edge when I do that, so we're going to merge in around here. And then this one will be a waterfall. Make sure that's on there. Yep. If, you, if the cursor is slightly off um, the thing that you want to lower, then it will lower the wrong bit and then that gets a bit annoying, so I was trying to avoid that. Nice waterfall there. Now where are we going to go into the sea? I think if we come down here, try and keep going in that direction and aim for there. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Even if I say so myself. So if we go down here, I want wiggle across a bit. Lower that one. Keep that one straight. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's like a 90s pop song. Keep that one straight. That one wiggly. And where's our C? Oh, we don't need to wiggle too much. Just a little, just a little wiggle. Because we're aiming for here. Unfortunately, that last little bit of river is at sea level. And because of that, I'm just going to shape it. Oh, I need a smaller cursor for that one. It's a bit too detailed for the cursor size I had. I'm just going to shape it down a little bit around here. Maybe a little bit there. No. I need an even tinier cursor for that one. So we're a little bit lopsided there. Might even just... Uh... Now I need what, a cursor of one here. To sort of dig out maybe a little outcropping there. So make it a little bit less boring, honestly. Don't want to do this to all of them, obviously. But just uh, wiggle up the corners. Quite like that, actually. Right, let's have a look at this one now. Let's see what we have made, what we have created. Giant river system. Yeah, I quite like that. It, it basically, it seems to go in the right kind of direction. It, I don't know if I actually like them now from this direction. That little wiggly bit at the bottom, I'm gonna leave it for now. It looks like a caterpillar took a bite out of it. 
But let's go back to the cube and watch it green up because that's always super satisfying. And I'm going to see if the temperature stays at around 47 or whether it goes up. I think the things that we want, want that temperature anyway, want that 50 degree temperature. We're wanting the hot sea and all that at the moment anyway. Because just a reminder, what I'm waiting for at the moment is this little dude here. And he likes 49 to 59 degree birth temperature. He's like a really hot Pacaya. And he'll be in the sea next to the Anomalocaris. So yeah, definitely keeping it at 50 degrees is a good thing for him. But I've regained all my energy, so we're gonna do a little fast forward and see if he turns up. Velo Pikaya, I think that's the dude. Kind of trying to go in numerical order, but I know that that won't work for everything. And they are in the sea, next to their predators. They're not very particularly super interesting, these guys. They just look like Pikaya all over again. Ah, oh, come back. We seem to have a strapsis now, I think, so that's good. So that's all of the stuff I think that we needed in this hot, hot sea. So that's really good. Just gonna go back out um, of view mode and I'm gonna check out the library and see what we wanna aim for next because we got him really quick. Super quick. So Velo Pikaya. And then we have a full library all the way down to number 38, which is Sire Phyton sort of seaweed, lives in hot shallows, but that only wants a 46 degree maximum birth temperature. So we do need to bring the temperature down a little bit for that one. That one's really cold. So that'll get left out until I bring the temperature down into some sort of ice age. We've got, we don't have any fake ops at the moment because that wants sort of moderate temperatures. Warm climates, unsuitable for Elrathia. So we need no Elrathia at that point. And then we need sort of colacanthuses and things like that. So we need a colacanthus uh, river fish that births in 28 degree rivers. We've got loads of rivers. I have every faith that we'll get that one very, very soon, as soon as colacanthus comes back. We want the sea to be 27 to 33 degrees. So we definitely need to bring this temperature down by a good amount. So what I'm gonna start doing in that case, because everything up to number 48 wants a lower temperature that wants a really low temperature. Those want a low temperature. They're, they're all wanting sort of a temperature of around 45 at the maximum. So I'm going to try and bring it down by about at least five degrees. And to do that, I'm going to start building a little pillar. It's going to look a bit ugly for a little while because uh, you can't, Rome wasn't built in a day. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get in the corner here with my biggest cursor just to get an idea of where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna make it my smallest cursor. And we're gonna do a little trick with field sources that someone in the comments mentioned might be a good idea, and I think it will be. So, we're gonna go up all the way until probably about the highlands. Uh, maybe quite far into the highlands, because we've got five degrees to go. So if we make it about maybe 40 high, So I'm going to make another mountain basically. So I'm going to basically get this all the way out again. And I'm going to use a field source to just bring a pillar up. And we'll see how that affects the temperature. That brought it down by one degree. Okay, so we can afford to go a little bit higher. Oh, I didn't want to go higher with that cursor. I need the cursor to change back. I'll go a little higher again. This is a good way to make big changes to your map without doing, you know, using all your energy. So go all the way to the sky. And then I will, again, field source it all the way up. And I'm hoping that this will be, oh, would help if I change my cursor first. There we are. So I'm hoping that this, it's kind of ugly, I know. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? This is a big change, but I'm going to make it so that it's not quite a, a, uh, a cube. 
not quite a, just a pillow, it's got a little bit of shaping to it. So I'm going to field source like this. And then I'm just going to stop and see what change to temperature that is, because that's a big change to the map. 47. And then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to do kind of similar over here. So it's just not this big pillar. It's kind of got some kind of shape to it, at least on the top. And then maybe shaping around the bottom as well. I think like that would be good. Okay, cool. So we've got this kind of big ugly pillar in the corner. I want to see what that looks like. It doesn't actually look too bad. What I'll probably do is I'll go around it and I'll make some highland and stuff that's just around the the edges of it, but it'll be quite... I'm going to just go into view mode there. Because they're quite tall and everything, I'm going to have to make it quite steep, I would say. Quite steep changes in it, and so that'll be my like super steep mountain. But yeah, it's, it looks better than just a straight up tower block anyway. So I could do a little tiny bit of shaping to it. What I could do is just build one little pillar of highland. And I'll probably just make it quite small. Because I, I don't need more highland blocks. I just need to make it look a bit nicer, that's all. So if we go back here, and I'll make a pillar. And we'll go up to about 40. About halfway up, and we'll just make a little pillar going up there. Um, 38, 39, 40. Okay. Make the cursor a bit bigger. That'll do it. will bring some of it down as well, but uh, I don't mind that so much. Let's go. Okay, let's do this thing. So we've got a bit of a platform there of something that's not quite that temperature. Um, sorry, not quite that height. Now, still using the field sources. I think I would like to sort of bring one up to about here. Again, that's just bringing that down, but it makes more of a shape, so it's all good. More shaping is always good. Um, that'll have to come up. I'll have to shape the bottom there a little bit more, I think. And then we'll come up here. Still at 46, so it's not too bad. Just going all the way around it. Uh, probably about there as well. I think some trees just flew off. In, oh, some plants just flew off into the sky there. We're now at 45. I'll do a little bit around the edge here as well. But we'll go back into the main cube and you can see kind of how that's shaping up. It's actually not too bad at all. It's actually kind of interesting. So that I could maybe just shape it around the coastline sort of area and bring it down in very, very steep blocks basically. It's all interesting anyways, but that's going to give us about the temperature we want. There's also a chance that we'll get that new tree that only grows up in the sky, so... Wasn't what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to start time. I want to see what, what turns up now we've got less, uh, less temperature in the cube. So it's still at like 50 degrees. It's coming down. Sometimes it just takes a, a moment for that to happen. Um, the temperature should come down as well because of the extra greenery around the new rivers I've put in. So I need to just make sure that it doesn't go too far the other way. 
I like this cube, I think it's really nice. I will do something about the desert eventually as well. Packy Northus, Astrapsis, we're coming down to the 44 degree sort of region, 45. So this is where I would expect things to start popping up that are new. Possibly. Sometimes takes a while. You can see the snow coming down the pillar as well. It goes lower as the temperature lowers in the cube. We don't seem to be getting anything new, so I'm just going to have a quick look in the library and see if there's any particular. I mean, I would expect that the butterflies and things would need other butterflies. But, uh, what about this guy? It resembles Cy. Cyado Phyton. I'm sure Cyado. I'm sure we have Cyado Phyton, but we might not. Might need to muck around for that one. No, we do have an, uh, a population of Cyado Phyton, so that's really good. And it likes 36 to 46 degree shallows. Well, that's, we're near, we might want to go a little cooler for that one. We're never getting that one right now. We don't even have any Colocanthus yet alone adapted to ones, so we're not gonna get Colocanthus until well they go in the deep sea. Hang on, let's check out the temperature of the deep sea, shall we? See if that's around twenty five to sort of thirty five degrees, if it's or if it's too hot or too cold or what. We're about twenty two in the deep sea. Is this deep sea as well? Yeah, this is still deep sea and it's 27. So we actually do have the right conditions for Colocanthus to birth. So let's go back to the um, library again. I think this playthrough we will end up in the library a lot because it's going to be things that are harder to get. So... It's a wide flat area in the deep sea to emerge. Well, we do have a fairly wide flat area. Wider and flatter than where I've seen them spawn before. 25 to 31 degrees. So I'm just going to have a look in the tree mode. I'm going to see where they come from. They come from Andreolepsis, which we don't have any of yet. And Andreolepsis are not going to spawn until we're down to about 40 degrees. So I need to bring that cube down to about 40 degrees for any life to carry on getting made, any of this stuff to carry on getting made. I need to get that one on the go, I think. I mean, yeah, praise on Andrea Lepsis. So there's absolutely no way, I mean, Clematius will probably come very soon. And whatever those are, hopefully. So number 126, we're looking for those to um, come, but they'll come. I'm gonna need to lower the temperature to about 40 and then raise it again. Otherwise, we're just not gonna get anywhere. We have Pachynorphis, so we're doing well for the sort of starfish. We don't have A. borealis, but that won't come until the temperature lowers. I mean, that, that one apparently needs jellyfish. Okay. Too much to think about at the moment. I have to focus a bit more, I think. Got no spiders. Do we have jellyfish? We have Alarathia. No, it's the jellyfish around here. A jellyfish that lives in hot waters. But we don't have any... Anthraca medusa yet. Okay. See that one I would expect. But we need Dimetrodon to disappear first. Okay, so the, we are really getting into the stuff that needs really specific conditions. So I am going to bring the cube down to 40 degrees. 
and we're going to see if we can get a bit more life birthed basically and we'll work on the plants as we go so we need another five degrees so i'm going to work a little bit more on shaping this pillow and by the time i'm done with that i'll no doubt be down at 40. we're down at 44 already See, it's starting to look a bit better now over there. Very, very, very steep. And it's harder to mould it to make it look nice when it's really, really steep. But I'm sure we'll manage something cool. Even if I need to maybe like wind the river around a little bit more sharply to make more room for the mountain, that might be something that I'll do in the future. Okay, so now we're down at like 42 degrees. Let's bring the, te let the temperature drop a bit and we'll regain our energy. Bootsalua! It's not doing very well though. It'll probably go extinct. I don't think that that was new. I will double check. No, it wasn't new, it's fine. Keep going. This is the thing, there's not many things that are new right now. Okay, we actually did, we gained all our energy back, so we can do a little bit more shaping. I might do some in the sea, maybe. But I actually think um, carrying on with my mountain is probably the best thing for now. I mean, we could have it, this almost be like a, uh, a canyon. The river goes all the way down. You know, to a big cliff sort of thing. That'd be quite cool. I think I'm going to do that. I haven't had any canyons in this yet. And again, I with the highlands and the uplands and things, I can afford, because I've got big swathes of them over on the other bit of the map, I can afford to make them um, quite craggy and stuff, whereas up the top I do need some bigger flat pieces of land. I like that. I like that a lot. Here I'm just going to go that far. And here I might go quite far up. And leave that as like a little hidden cave bit. I'm just going to bring that up a bit more than the one next to it. There we are. So the base of this is looking far more nice, far more natural. But we still haven't quite had the temperature decrease I want. I want to get all the way down to 40. That is the name of the game today. I won't bring this one all the way up, I'll just leave it kind of halfway, like that. Still got more I can do though, I can, you know, as I say, I'm going to make it like almost a canyon all the way to the sea. I think it look quite cool. But sometimes you can never tell until you get out into the into the macro cube. It's like, oh, actually this doesn't look as awesome as I thought it was, or you might think it looks absolutely great or whatever. But yeah, I quite like that going all the way to the river. I think that's that's pretty cool. 
Right, we're at 41 now, so I'm going to make this like a big canyon. So we're going to go up a bit more. Shaping the land. Oh no! What did I not do? Press my back button. So there'll be something way up the mountain that's looking terrible. Go up quite high with this one. But I want to go all the way to the water's edge with it. Which is very annoying because it's just one little tiny... <sighs> Bit of the cursor too small there. Let's do a bit like this. Oh, that's apparently as much as we can do. We haven't used all of our energy and we haven't even raised it one degree. Well done. So if we start time going, we'll be able to see the mountain as it comes round. It's starting to look a lot nicer now. But I'm actually quite happy with the river being near to sort of cliffs because that's like, as I say, it's something different. It's a terrain modification we haven't really had before. So yeah, cool. Uh, so we're now down to 41 degrees. Uh, we're still not anywhere closer to getting Angiolepsis. That's what we needed. Suddenly everything's going to start spawning. Okay, so once we've got Andrealepsis, reminding myself, tree mode is very handy for this. We can then get these small saltwater fish that swim in schools between 35 and 45 degrees. They should not be far behind. But it likes sea of 35 to 45 degrees. Well, it might be 35 in the sea still. It might be a little cool for them. So we might need to raise the temperature a bit. I would love to get something new. And then there's some of these guys. And I think these have to die out before these guys can spawn, by the looks of it. Swims in warm waters that Leptolepsis could not adapt to. So I'm guessing those guys are Leptolepsis. Hot seas. Again, so we might have to take some of the mountain away, which would be good for shaping it actually. To get some of those guys. And there's some of these guys that are, are hot seas, I think, as well. They want like 47 degrees shallows and things. Again, we'll just see what happens for a bit. Because we have just had a big change to the, the cube in that we've got Andrealepsis, and that makes a big difference. Fast forward button, always good. Colacanthus is here, right, cool. Getting some more fish now. Clematius is here in the river, nice. So we're getting back a lot of what we had lost, basically. But I'm not gonna rush for dinosaurs at all. Not gonna rush for them at all. Dipterus. What is a dipterus? That is new. That is brand new. What are you? Are you a sea thing? Probably a sea thing. No, a river thing, apparently. It's in the river. What are you? I think it's a river fish. Hello, Mr. River Fish. Oh, that wasn't that lovely. Let's just have a look at him properly. You can have a better look when you're sort of in the water. So I'm just going to go down in the water. Have a good old look at him. 
There we go. Aren't you nice? Oh, it's a bit close to the waterfall there, making a bit of a noise. He likes the waterfall, I think. So there we are, brand new fish. Very nice. Okay, let's capture him. Cool, acanthus had adapted to fresh water. It appeared after spreading through rivers and congregating in wide, uh, wide lakes. Sorry, and he's a six star. So that's pretty cool. Actually, I don't even know. Let's have a look in the library, right? I don't even know that... Um, Pacaya that I got earlier on. What rarity that is. That is a five star. So we've got a five star and a six star. So we've got some really quite, you know, not easy things to get. Like Pacaya is a one star. Things that you've really got to try for. So we've got Colocanthus, Ac Acolanth. A colacanth, I think it is. Acanthodes. And now Dipterus. Colacanthus that live in the cold waters of the deep sea, 10 to 20. Mainly feeds on, feeds on Clupia. I haven't even heard of Clupia. Cannot live in extreme depths. Ooh, right. So it's like, it has to be deep sea, but the sea has to be cold enough. And these other things have to be there. Good grief. But the more of the fish and things that I can unlock, the more I know what it is that they want. Loads of these fish. Loads and loads of fish that I have not got at all in this branch here. And then there's a bunch of the uh, sort of starfish and uh, I don't know, dinorthis sort of tree that I don't have. Plants I'm actually doing fairly well in. I just need um, to get equisetum and then it needs to be 43 to 53 degrees. I'm going a bit too cold for these guys to grow now. I'm surprised that they didn't grow. Equisetum, do we have a lot of them? No. They want 37 to 47 degrees. And they need velociraptors. Okay, so we can finish off these plants once we get velociraptors. I think I said that last time anyway. Those guys need colder temperatures. Those guys need very cold temperatures. Oh yeah, that's my sky tree. And I still haven't had that grow yet. I don't know if it needs any other broadleaf, probably. Yeah, I'll probably get that once the broadleafs come. And the broadleaves need conifers. We have plenty of conifers. It needs 25 to 35 degrees, but it needs delta theridium. Oh no, it doesn't need it. They need they need that tree. Hmm. No reason they shouldn't be around, actually. No reason at all. Okay, but anyway, having Colocanthus is cool because that will unlock things like Ichthyostega, which is pretty good. An Ichthyostega. But then I think maybe we could use a few mutation seeds and things like that. Because um, if we've got Colocanthus around... Actually, if we've got Dipterus... It's got, yeah, it's got that friend there. We could maybe cheat and see if we could get it to spawn. Because <laughs> it's got a good adaptation temperature. We've got good deep sea for it. Yeah, I'm going to go use a mutation seed on a dip through us and see if we can, see if we can get that one to spawn. Let's see, because we probably have quite a few mutation seeds. I don't use them as often as I maybe should. To be quite honest with you, we've got 52 of them, so we could use a lot of them on things to try and speed things along. So we're at 40 degrees, let's get out of here and see if that thing will spawn. Fingers crossed. And if it does, I'm going straight into the cube to capture it. Come on.
Mutate. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I have the right kind of thing for it. Temperature for it. Oh, I didn't think it's going to happen. I am sad, Cookie. Loads of angiolepsis in the sea, that's good. No, that didn't work at all. But maybe try it one more time. Actually, let's go and have a look at the sea temperatures. See if we can get it. Mm. Right, so in the very, very deep sea, I don't know what it means by very deep sea. But I imagine that it's like sea that's only just deep sea, probably. So 25 is deep sea. 20 is deep sea. It's 33 degrees in the deep sea at the moment. That's normal sea. Maybe, I mean, very low elevations is probably like, I wouldn't imagine that 20 is very low. So we're about 33 degrees there. And it wants, it wants... Go to the library. Who wants Clupia? I don't know what Clupia are. I imagine the fact that Clupia aren't there at all is probably my problem right now. Probably won't mutate until that's there. I could get a shark if I could get acanthodes back again. Saltwater fish. Oh, okay. Need much cooler temperatures for him. It's not even worth it. But these guys, they'd be fine, but they need Velociraptor. There's so much stuff that I need, I'm wanting here, they're missing, that needs Velociraptor. So let's try and get Velociraptor, shall we? And the first thing to do to get that is to get an Ichthyostega back again. That wants 33 degrees to birth. Guess we're building more mountain again, or using global cooling. so much stuff that needs Velociraptor that I, I think it's worth trying to go down to the dinosaurs now. Um, and I can still go up and down in temperature in the dinosaur age and try and get a load of stuff. But there's so much stuff that's saying, I need Velociraptor, I need this, I need that. That I think getting Veloc Velociraptor will be the thing to do. So I think I will do that next episode. And uh, for this one, we have built ourselves a mountain in the corner. Actually, it's starting to look a bit cooler now. It was looking a bit rubbish to start with, and I've I've changed it about a bit, and it's starting to look a bit cooler. So now we've got this really steep mountain, and we've got the sort of shallow biomes that everything can try and live on. So that's really cool. So I hope you liked the episode. And if you did, then please leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more birthdays, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.